What's going on, ma'am? January 11, 2018, El Paso County deputies responded to a truck lot for a trespassing report. Are you Jerica? Jerica LaCour? Jerica LaCour from Colorado Springs was a mother of five children. According to medical reports obtained by 13 Investigates, Jerica was curled up in the fetal position crying hysterically when deputies arrived. In an effort to calm her down, a paramedic injected Jerica with ketamine. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who gets ketamine? Yeah, seriously. Minutes after the paramedic said that, Jerica LaCour would be dead. Her autopsy says she died of respiratory arrest from alcohol and ketamine intoxication. Every day, all day, you know, um, we think about her. More than five years since her death, Jerica's husband, Anthony LaCour, still won't watch the police body-worn camera video capturing the moments before his wife's death. I can't bring myself to do watch that. <laughs> It's already bad enough with her not being here. I just want my kids. Thirteen investigates obtained an incident report written by a Cimarron Hills firefighter who says she urged the paramedic Jason Paulson not to administer ketamine. She said LaCour was already tied down and calming down. He did it anyway, and that caused the death of Jerrica LaCour. And now her children, her five children, do not have a mother. Dan Kay is an attorney representing Jerrica's children. The LaCour family filed a lawsuit claiming negligence leading to wrongful death by the American Medical Response, or AMR, and the paramedic on scene, Jason Paulson. According to the firefighter's report, the paramedic justified the use of ketamine because LaCour was displaying symptoms of excited delirium. Descriptors for excited delirium syndrome include hyperaggression, increased strength, and police noncompliance according to the Colorado Department of Health and Environment. State health officials say ketamine is a medication causing altered sensory perception, meant to calm patients down. She was upset, she was crying, she wasn't violent, she wasn't fighting, she wasn't spitting. It isn't seen on camera, but according to the incident report from the Cimarron Hills firefighter, the Corps started swinging at EMS providers before being tied down to the cot. In 2021, the state opened an investigation into the incident and Polson's conduct. They found that the paramedic improperly administered the ketamine. Medication was accidentally ejected from the syringe, causing an unknown dosage to be administered. They also found that Polson initially failed to note on the patient care report that he administered ketamine at all. As a result of the state investigation, Polson's paramedic certification is currently on probation until December of 2023. But the state tells 13 investigates they made no findings regarding whether the use of ketamine was justified or not. No! This is not an isolated incident. In 2019, Elijah McLean, a 23-year-old black man, was killed after paramedics and police allegedly held him down and injected him with ketamine. That incident sparked the Colorado State Legislature to pass two key pieces of legislation to address ketamine and EMS oversight in the state. The first passed in 2021, limiting the circumstances when ketamine can be used and eliminating excited delirium as a justification for use of the medication by EMS. According to numbers from the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, in 2019 when McLean died, ketamine was administered by EMS 457 times for excited delirium. Nearly a quarter of those ketamine doses had reported complications. Two years later, administrations dropped to less than 100, in large part from health officials suspending the use of excited delirium as justification for ketamine use that year. But even after the suspension, ketamine is still being used outside of hospitals. According to their 2022 annual report to the legislature, state health officials said ketamine was administered by EMS at least 1,500 times in Colorado from July 2021 to June 2022. 2% of those had complications. <gasps> She by herself? But for the liqueurs, these changes to state policy came too little, too late. And it's hard for me to deal with my children because I don't want them to see me crash. Yeah. I gotta stay strong for them. She was my strength, my courage. She gave me ability to become the man that I am today. AMR declined to speak with 13 investigates due to the pending litigation. We also reached out to the lawyer representing the paramedic but have not heard back yet. If the lawsuit is successful, the family lawyer tells us any financial relief would go to the five children of Jerrica LaCour. Dan Beattie, 13 Investigates.